many thousands of dollars worth of gold coins, I'm going to discuss some extremely rare Sacagawea dollar coins in this video that sold for a ton of money and that you should keep an eye out for right away. It's crucial to understand that contrary to popular belief, these Sacagawea coins are not struck with gold. They appear golden because they are actually copper coins with a brass outer coating. The coin you are currently viewing on the screen was sold for $84,000. Guys, that's correct, NGC gave it a grade. It is rated at an AU58 by a third-party grading agency. Nearly uncirculated is referred to as AU. Now, the reason I received an AU grade is that there is several coin gashes from mingling. Because of this, the state of your coin has a significant impact on its worth. Make sure you are protecting and not destroying any rare coins you may have. Now, the fact that this coin is referred to be a mule coin explains why it is so uncommon. We all now understand what a mule is. The reason the is because it combines two animals that shouldn't mix, a donkey and a horse. This coin has a Sacagawea dollar on one side and a presidential dollar on the other. I'm not sure exactly how this happened throughout the minting procedure. This could have been done on purpose by a mint employee. Who knows for sure? In the end, it's difficult to trust some people online. Nevertheless, if you came find a coin like this, you would be in for a treat because this one went for $84,000 at an auction, and this Sacagawea dollar cost $144,000. Now everything seems normal when viewed from the rear of the Sacagawea dollar. Here, Sediments 865 Plus was used to produce this one by PCJS. Now the plus grade label will significantly raise the coin's worth there, but this is all dependent on the coin's current higher grading. This coin is a mule, just like the preceding one, but its front features a statehood quarter, therefore these two should be compared. Never mix the two. The majority of the time, unless they are in exceptionally good graded condition, your Julia dollar coins will only be worth a few bucks. Also keep in mind that this will be attempted to be duplicated by others. Whether it involves cutting a coin in half, pasting the halves together, or welding the halves together, coloring the resulting coin to make it look to be a genuine error, you may make a lot of money online by selling the mistake. That is why independent businesses like NGC and PCGs are crucial to the hobby. You must ensure that you hold on to it securely and do not lose it if you locate one, ripped off and conned. The currency mastermind class is about to start. It is important to realize that these Sacagawea coins are not struck in gold, unlike what the general public believes. Because they are copper coins with a brass outer covering, they appear golden. It's true that the coin you're seeing on the screen sold for $84,000 according to NGC. It has been rated by an independent rating agency at AU $58. A state with almost no circulation is called AU. I got an AU rating as there were multiple coin cuts from mixing. That is why the value of your coin is greatly influenced by its condition. If you own rare coins, be sure to keep them instead of throwing them away. Now the reason why this coin is so rare is explained by the fact that it is called a mule coin. Now everyone knows what a mule is. The combination of two animals, a donkey and a horse, is the reason for this. One side of this coin features a presidential dollar, and the other side features a Sacagawea dollar. I'm not sure how this happened during the minting process. It's possible that a mint employee who ultimately knows for sure may have done this intentionally. It's challenging. Have faith in some individuals? In internet. However, you would be surprised if you came across a coin like this, as this Sacagawea dollar cost $144,000 and was purchased for $84,000 at auction. Looking at this from the back of the Sacagawea dollar, everything seems normal now. Elements 860.5 and higher was employed by PCJS to create this. The value of the coin will now increase dramatically with the grade plus label. However, this is all based on the coin's current highest rating. Like the previous coin, this is a mule, but on the obverse is a state coin. Therefore, a comparison between the two is necessary. Never combine the two. Unless they are in very good condition, most of the time your Julia dollar coins will only be worth a few dollars. Remember that other people will also try to replicate this. You can sell the bug for a lot of money online if you cut a coin in half, glue the pieces together, solder the halves, and then paint the finished coin to make it look like a real bug. Why do independent companies like PCGs and NGC exist? They are essential for your hobby. You have to make sure you hold on.
If you find even one point torn off and cheated, hold on tight to it and don't let go. Without further ado, thank you very much for watching this video. I invite you to subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss any videos and stay up to date. See you in the next video.